Hi, Larry Stewart here with 4constructionpros.com at Tanaha Hills at Caterpillar's uh, product demonstration center with Brian Stelbrink, who's a uh, product application specialist for hydraulic excavators. Brian, the second generation of the, uh, the 336 uh, hybrid excavator is uh, right here with us. Um, I understand that the, a lot of the hybrid, the hydraulic hybrid technology is it, it stayed fairly, fairly similar, but you've added some technology to this me machine. Talk a little bit about um, what you were able to accomplish with uh, that smart valve and smart pump sure. and uh, the systems on the hybrid. Okay, absolutely. So again, this machine, this is our 336 FXE hybrid machine. And what that means is it has the nomenclature on it, which is XE, and that's simply an identifier to highlight Caterpillar product that is our most advanced technology product which returns the highest levels of fuel efficiency and productivity for our customers, typically in higher hour utilization. So you're squeezing more efficiency out of this this hybrid system. Talk a little bit about how much more for, uh, for this iteration. Absolutely. So this machine is actually using the uh, hydraulic hybrid system as well as some additional CAT Connect technologies that help job site efficiency. Now in the hydraulic hybrid part of it, we're actually seeing up to 20% lower fuel consumption compared to our standard 336F model. And the way we're doing this is tier four final engine technology is helping lower fuel consumption. But the real heart of the system is the hydraulic hybrid system. And what we've been able to do with that smart pump and engine system working together, the smart ACS adaptive control system valve, along with the swing energy recovery where we're storing and reusing energy, hydraulic oil, during swing braking. Now some things that we've been able to do to get even greater fuel efficiency out of the F-Series hybrid technology is we were able to, through software, make some adjustments and tune and tweak and get even greater fuel savings through enhancements of the ACS valve. So again, looking for anywhere where you can further optimize that ACS electrohydraulic valve to give us even further fuel consumption reduction by directing that oil flow more efficiently from where it's being, rather than send back to tank, to actually being to where it's needed on the machine. So directing that power where it's needed and putting it there only when it's needed to drive the five different functions on the machine. Sure. So it's a software kind of a kind of a thing. It sounds like the hardware really hasn't changed all that much. This is refinement of actually how that hardware works. Absolutely. It's primarily additional software development that allows us to tune the ACS main valve. Now we've also been able to provide some additional controllability settings for operators. Mm -hmm. And what this does, this is new with the F-Series hydraulic hybrid technology. So in the cab, through the monitor, we're able to provide some adjustability, some controllability settings that allow the operator to have different reaction on joystick gain levels. And we're also able to uh, provide some settings of the swing braking. And what this means for an operator, if they're an aggressive truck loading application and they want the maximum response out of that machine, we're able to go in that monitor, the operator is, and change to more aggressive joystick gain settings. So for a given amount of lever command of the joysticks by the operator, they'll get different levels of response of that machine. More aggressive for applications in aggressive truck loading or aggressive pipeline work or trenching and maybe less aggressive for more finesse utility, underground utility applications, applications requiring a little more fine placement of objects and uh, a little bit more detailed digging. Yeah. So we have the adjustability now, and the enabler to that is this ACS valve technology, the smart valve that's in the hybrid, has been with our previous generation, but we're, we're using additional capability in that valve to provide um, adjustability and controllability to allow that operator to adapt to their styles and also adapt to applications.